everyone, Anya here at Our Gabled Home, where I like to share tips for a simple, beautiful, healthy, and sustainable living. And if you've been following along on this channel, you have often seen me in this linen apron. It has a crossed back, and I want to show you how easy it is to make your own. Now, this is linen. I love linen for how sturdy it is and how nicely it wears, and I love the fact that it's always a little bit crinkled and linen can be pretty expensive so here is what I do I buy this tablecloth at Ikea you can see that it has a blue stripe on the outside and it's actually the biggest one in our local Ikea it's about $25 for a really big piece of um, I would have to measure it how big this exactly is but you can actually make two or three aprons out of this. So I think that's a pretty good price and I will show you how you can make your own in this tutorial step by step. The apron has pockets. I can put something in there. Um, if I want to carry it around, I can put my hands in there and it's just really the right height for my hands so that they feel supported. I can just throw it on and off. I don't need to tie anything in the back. It fits over bigger clothes. And this is really a one size fits all because even if you're smaller, it's gonna work. And if you're bigger, then you can also make it work. So it doesn't matter what size you are, it always works. So making this apron, I um, said that I am using IKEA fabric. Actually, it's the IKEA tablecloth bar dagen, however you pronounce it. It's a beautiful fabric. It's not too stiff, not too thick. So when you cut this out, you want to add about half an inch on each side for the seam allowance. So you're just going to make it a little bit bigger than what you have here in the pattern. This is the moment where you cross over the back because it is a crossover apron you need to bring this side over here and the other side over here and then you simply sew those pieces together up here and that's your apron so we'll do that your apron can be done or you can add pockets to your apron here is the shape for the pockets place them to the front of your apron you want to make sure that they're a good height for your hands what I would do is put on your apron and extend your arms down by your body and figure out where your hands land because I like to make fists and feel the bottom of my pocket, but everybody is different depending on what you use your pockets for. I just like them to stick my hands into them. And then you simply fold over the seam and sew the pockets to your apron. You want to also make sure that you sew that round seam first because that will not be sewn on, that's the opening of your pocket. I hope you 
found this helpful. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button in the right hand corner below. You can also go to my blog at ourgabledhome.com where I have more tips and recipe for a natural living. And I look forward to seeing you next time here in this place.